Hey guys, Peacemaster160 here, and today I'm doing my very first mod spotlight. So, um, first thing it goes is this mod is Alternate Buildcraft Power Systems, or APS, Alternate Power Systems mod. Uh, it's by Daction. And so, uh, first thing about my Let's Plays is I make uh, specs textures for all of the mods that I do Let's Plays on. So, so you guys can see here. Got custom textures on all this stuff. Looks very cool. Um, so let's get right on to it. <clears throat> so uh, here, I just got a little quick little power plant system with a lever. Just turns on the engines. Okay. So let's get into our first machine in this mod. Uh, going from least to most complex, I suppose. So what this system does is basically it takes power and it'll put it into here. Um, or, if there's nothing requesting power over here, none of the machines have work to do, it'll go into here. Now what is this? This is the energy storage. So, this is a big complex GUI. Basically, what it does is, it takes in energy, and it puts out energy. But not at the same time. Keep that in mind. So, what is this for? Basically, if it can hold up to an hour and a half of quarry time. So you could run a quarry for an hour and a half when this bar is all the way to the top. And what this means is basically this is the energy in. So how much energy it takes in. This is in build craft energy units per tick. So if I limit it to... So right now it's at 500. I can limit it to 30 or so. And that will not output... And that will, it will not take in more than um, 7 if I put it like this bar won't go any higher than 15 um, or anything like that but basically what this is for is if I want like half of it to go in there and half of it to go in here but um it's not a problem right now because I don't have any machines running so next thing is this here this is a lapis um, pipe so basically if we look this up lapis if I could spell it right there we go lapis conductive pipe Basically, this is a wooden transport pipe with lapis on it. And uh, the normal transport pipes, they're limited to, tw I think it's 50 um, energy units per tick. So these can only output 50 per tick. So say, and this can output 500. So if I had normal one on here, I couldn't go above 50. Or if I did, I would lose energy. So now I won't. This here, this is a power switch pipe. This is actually from the additional buildcraft objects mod. Basically what it does is, if I had this open, power would come all the way around to go into this machine. So I just keep it closed and I will flip this lever. It will put this into drain mode and the draining thing will turn on. And it will also, um, it will stop receiving energy. And it will open this pipe. So let's go energy out. Let's change that to a max of, I don't know, why not 23 for our purposes right now. So it looks about good. And let's get into the machines over here. First machine is the powered furnace. So basically, this is a buildcraft powered furnace. So if I drain out a slight bit of my power, let's do even less so I just conserve it slightly. Um, actually, let's keep it on 15. And I'm just going to use iron engine power right now. So I got a couple items here just to smelt to show you guys that it works like a normal furnace. So basically, I can put, say, wood in. And it'll slowly drain out energy and it'll produce charcoal. So it's very cool. It actually uses the same amount of energy that a normal furnace would use. Like it's got the same rate. It just uh, it can be faster if you have more power. And it can smell all these ores and everything. So the more power you give it, the faster it goes. Pretty cool. And there's no machine like this without this mod. So it's very cool. So let's just throw this stuff out. And next machine. This is the grinder. This grinder is a really cool machine. I got some things in here. So first off, it basically what it does is it grinds down things into other things, if that makes any sense. So let's say, and it's got a bunch of recipes. So if I put some gravel in it, it says one flint, 100%, and you caught that there. And then watch what will pop in this chest. Flint. So it will make one flint per gravel as it shows on the right side. Now what if I put some stone in here? It looks as one iron ingot, 20%, one redstone, 
0.5, 2%, one redstone 0.5%. So basically that's the percent chance that it has for grinding down. It's just plain stone and two iron and redstone. So very, it's basically this machine made to uh, dump out your extra resources. If you attach pipe to it, it'll pipe it over. If you, it'll just spit it right out if you don't. Um, but it's really nice for grinding down resources. It's going pretty slow because actually it's out of power. So let's go fix this right here. Let's put this down to 7 energy out. And now it's flowing out. And if you see this bar here, if I can click it, there we go. It'll fill up with the energy that's pointing out. So let's just keep it up with uh, 7 here. And it looks like I don't have any more work to do. So let's put more, some dirt in here. Why not? Yes, you can see. Dirt can go into cobble, stone, coal, and iron. So small chance of all that. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. Look at all the cobble it's producing. And then that cobble can be used to produce more things, such as coal, iron, and redstone. It's got a slightly higher chance. About the same as stone, I think. So it's very cool. And look how fast it's going, because I'm giving it 7 energy units per tick. So very powerful thing. As you see, if coal just came out, there's some more coal. So... Slight chance, but it's better than nothing. And it's a nice thing to do with your other ores. Also, you can put uh, sandstone in here. And look what you get. You get four sand for each sandstone. So it uh, basically ungrinds your sandstone. So that's very cool. If you look at all the sand we're getting from this. So that's a very nice little thing that isn't in anywhere else. Also, if we're wooden playing something interesting you get. So you get five sticks. Normally you would get four, but you actually get more sticks for putting it in this machine. So that's a nice little benefit right there and bricks you don't uh... bricks you get four bricks from it so turns normal bricks into four raw bricks so very cool machine look at all the stuff we just got just from those few stacks there so next up we have the blast furnace now the blast furnace is basically it's not actually a furnace but it's basically something to dump another thing to dump your blocks into so say i had some a bunch of stone lying around if I put, no, let's start this off with dirt. So say I got a bunch of dirt running around. I had a quarry running. Just pour my dirt in here. And if we have power, which we should, oh, uh, no, we got power. Cool. So just break this pipe off just to reset the power grid. Let me get myself a uh, pipe. No, nope, wrong pipe. Uh, there we go. Don't know why that's not receiving power. Um, but, okay, let's say I got some stone on me. I'll put some stone in here, and look at that. So, I guess it doesn't work with dirt, actually. But, uh, I got some stone on me. And let's replace that. And then I, it fills up the bar in there. And if you notice, uh, I can also put in sand, I believe. Yep, put in sand. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> uh, how about cobble? Yep, so I can put some cobble in there. It's got a nice little buffer in there. so, And it'll slowly but surely produce some lava in there, as you can see. And that lava will accumulate. And then if I hook up, say, a valve pipe to this, and this is basically just a pipe that extracts, it'll extract the lava and put it in tank for me. Um, this, And then what do I do with this lava? Well... I can use this in a geothermal generator in industrial craft, or to make industrial craft energy, or I can put it in the mineral extractor. So as you can see here, it's got the same thing as the normal extractor, or the grinder. Uh, basically, it's got a 5% chance iron, 2% chance redstone, 1.5% chance obsidian, slight chance of gold and diamonds. So it's really cool. Basically, just flip this lever, and the lava will pipe into it, and then if it gets power, which it is now, it'll have a slight chance to produce um, all of this stuff. So it's very cool. Let me uh, actually just break this connection here. So like that. And then all of our power is actually going to here. So this thing uses a bunch of power. You can actually turn up the power if I want to. I just go like this. Uh, let's do 30. Let's give it 30 energy units per tick and look at that green bar go so it's using up all the lava really fast and it's trying to produce some items and 
Uh, it might have actually produced items. I don't have a uh, pipe set up to extract it. It'll just throw it out. I have item drops disabled, so I'll be right back. So I just got some lava in here for the demonstration purposes. If I give this a redstone current, it will extract. And I can get rid of that one here. And now let's turn on our power. So I turn that off because it will automatically drain no matter where the power has to go. So if we look in here, should it's probably all gone here. So uh, let's turn that off again. And if we look in here, we see the power building up. And soon it'll turn green. It'll start draining lava. And did we get anything? Uh, does not look like it. So, as you can see, small chances to get it something, but it's better than nothing. So, it's better than nothing. So, I mean, why not? You got extra resources. It's good to use them. So, uh, next part of the mod. This is the more complex part. So, let's get right into it and shut off our machine. Um, the redstone current actually turns this into draining mode. If you didn't notice, the drain bar gets checked and it can't accept input so don't need this pipe here but I don't want energy going all the way around when it can just go short distance so I'll be right back with the next part of this mod so next up we have the solar power plant something that's really cool that this mod adds so basically it's a power plant that um produces build craft energy but this works a lot different than other solar power plants so uh, basically you need two blocks the solar collector and the solar reflector and basically if you place up a collector as it has to be at least one block above the reflectors then you can place reflectors in any directions up to 16 blocks on any axis so you can do stuff like this looks really awesome it's even got these cool rays going through to show you that it's collecting the nice thing is you can actually put pipes above this so a opaque block and it'll still receive sun although if you put say uh, why not sandstone if I put sandstone above there uh, it'll turn black and the light will go off but it'll go back on when you remove it so yeah and also if you uh, look over here and if we turn to sunset it will turn off at night, and I believe it has conf different um, outputs. I believe it has different outputs in different biomes. Not positive about that, but I know that feature was thought of, uh, put in place. So if we watch right here, in a second here, once the sun goes down, these will turn off. So it will turn off for the night. Another cool thing about this power plant, well, this turns off, and there you go, it turned off, power stopped flowing. Uh, another cool thing about this solar power plant is that it does not produce much energy, but it's a little nice energy for when you need it. So um, it's configured like an actual plant. It's uh, configured after the Spanish PS20 plant. And uh, I believe that the energy generation is so low that four reflectors add the equivalent of a stone engine. Uh, so, it's not insanely low, but it's pretty low. So, um, and can be connected with a lapis pipe. You probably want to do that because then you'll get more energy output. So, uh, also, if you, um, if you put a redstone torch next to the collector, it'll temporarily deactivate all connected reflectors. So, if I go like this. It'll turn it off. So it's nice, quick, and easy to turn on and off.